Hello everybody. I hope everybody's having a good day today. Over the past few days, I've been working on some recordings for a podcast that I'm working on. My, uh, my wonderful sister-in-law is uh, helping me get that started. And um, if all goes well, it um, should help with some added income for our mission here in the Philippines. The context of those recordings that I'm making are, um, are telling my life story up until this point. You know, I, I, I always share my past with you guys, and, um, uh, but um, in these recordings, I'm really going deep and, and getting into uh, specifics, you know, and details. And, um, it, it, it's bringing up a, a lot of memories uh, from my past. I'm not going to say that they're, you know, they're all bad memories or good memories. They're, they're, they're memories. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's really been helpful. It's really been healing for me to, um, to remember those things. You know, we, we, we always hear that you, that you have to let go of the past. And, you know, the past is the past. And, and um, you know, I, I thought I had, um, I had let go of a lot of that, that negative, a lot of the negative things that, that I experienced and uh, a lot of negative things that I caused others to experience. I, I thought I'd healed from that and let it go. It's really been a blessing to... Um, remember some of those things that, that I had forgot and um, so today I, I want to share with you guys uh, just some things that that I've learned from going back over my past and and you know we can't we can't let go of the past until we heal from it and um, so I want to share something with you guys today most of you guys know my testimony and and you know that uh, before my encounter with Jesus Christ I uh, I was a drug addict um, I was depressed suicidal I, I was just completely out of control um, and I'd been to rehab several times and I, I remember something from my very first time in rehab at the time I, I was married um, to someone uh, uh, not who I'm married to now and uh, we were both addicts and I remember my my first counselors meeting in rehab and and I remember the the counselor told me he said um, he said in six months time he said if, if you um, get clean and your wife doesn't or if both of you get clean and you stay clean he said it doesn't matter he said in six months time he said your marriage will be over i remember i, I got really offended and angry i wanted to punch the man and um you know i i i said what are you talking about i said the whole reason that 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 i'm here is so that that she and i can get better and we can start off and, and, and have a new, wonderful relationship and, and, and have a really good marriage. The counselor looked at me and he smiled and he, and he said, hey, don't get upset. He said, I'm just being honest with you. He said, think about it. He said, the only thing that you and your wife have in common is drugs and alcohol. And he said, and whenever you take that away, he said, you'll have nothing in common. He said, you won't get along anymore. You, 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 won't, you won't last. And I thought about that for a minute. And, and, and I rejected what he had to say because, you know, I, th I thought, you know, I'll be the one or we'll be the one that beats the odds. But you know what? He was right. The first day I, I met my future wife, both of us were drunk at a poolside party. You know that that that's how our relationship got started. You know, and 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 it, and it, it it moved from from drinking to to drugs. It worked to party too. That's what our whole relationship was based off of was partying, was drugs and alcohol. And once that equation was taken away, we had nothing. 
You know, if you're in a relationship today and, and the only thing that, that the two of you have in common is something negative or a negative experience that, that, that both of you experienced in your past, then how can you ever heal? You know, it's like you need that to hold you together. And if that's the only thing holding you together, then you can't let it go. And if you can't let that negativity go, then it's going to eat at you for the rest of your life. It's okay to, to remember your past. It's okay to remember the bad things in your life. But you have to let it go. You have to heal. Sometimes we, we get so blinded by the negative things that happened in our past that, that we can't see the wonderful positive things that were there as well. I was talking with Lynn about this today and uh, we were discussing this and, and um, you know, she and I both have totally different past, but we have one thing in common. We have both encountered the presence of God. We have both been changed by His amazing love. And that is what our relationship is based off of. That is our rock. I'll never claim that, that I have everything figured out in this journey, this, this thing we call life. I, I'll never claim that. But, um, you know, there, there's one thing that, that I do know, and, and, and that is that you have to, to let the past go. You have to heal from it. And, um, you know, that, that's, that's what this life is all about, is, is learning from our mistakes and letting it go. Because if you don't let it go, you can't move forward. It'll be your anchor forever. And, um, you know, if, if anybody gets a lesson out of this today, is, is, um, is that, you know, you've got to heal. There are so many people that I affected in a negative way in my past and um, you know especially my children and my mom and um, you know I, I pray that um, one day my, my, my children um, will be able to heal um, from the, the hurt that I caused them and um, you know that they'll be able to um, let that go and, and um, you know receive their healing and receive their peace. Anyway, thank you guys for listening. I love you all. God bless.